Heidi ho, my crafty friends. This is Lori. Welcome to the Ladybug Journals today. I'm so glad that you came to play. Now, um, when I last saw you, we were working on this little journal here. Let me turn it around here. Well, everything has dried, so we can we can fold everything, and she's looking nice. So the only thing we have left to do here is, you know, put the cover here. And I really, honestly, I haven't decided what I'm going to put here, but it'll be after we put our signatures in, um, you know, because I'll put something over them. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to put a piece of um, antique crochet or something like that over it, you know, to go like that. But I just really, I haven't decided yet. So um, I thought we'd work on this today and get our signatures in. So I got all the signatures together and on my table today, I've got my, well, I've got a mess here. Let me get this off. I've got my um, thread for sewing them in and I thought we'd use some blue today because it goes nice with the, um, with the cover, although you're you're really not going to see it on the outside, but you will see it on the inside. I've got our three signatures ready to go, and on two of them, I already have the holes punched, but I wanted to show you how I do it, um, and I use my Crocodile Big Bite when I do it, so I thought I would show you how I do that. I've had a couple questions in the past um, on how I do that. So I thought I would show you, and I'm going to move this up just a little bit um, and try really, really hard not to get my head in the camera um, because it's, <laughs> it's a little hard for me to do that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create a template um, that fits. Let me get my string out of the way here. That Get over there. That fits inside that fits inside your your spine. Here's my spine, okay? So it needs to fit inside your spine, the length of your spine. And I know where, where I want my signatures to sit. And uh, some creatives have their sit about an inch down and an inch up. I usually like mine about a half an inch down and about a half an inch up. So that's completely up to you. Um, you know, you're gonna have to play around with your books and see what you'd like best. Um, but I, I've discovered I like mine about a half an inch down. Um, but I know that I like mine in the center. So um, to create mine, I fold, I fold my paper in half this wide, and then I fold it in half this wide. That gives me dead center. Okay, and then the first thing I do is I mark dead center because, well, you need dead center. Okay, and then when I unfold it, I mark my center holes. I mark them just like that, and then I circle them. And usually I will take my awl and I'll poke a hole through them. Let me see if you could, well... I, and I write on the back, but I poke a hole through them and I'll mark dead center with yellow or pink. I, I use a highlighter to show me dead center of this um, because that's important. You want to know where dead center is. Um, and then I'll come up and I'll measure down my spacing a half an inch and I'll mark my top spacing dead center. Okay, remember I fold it in in half. So I know where dead center at the top is, and I know where center at the bottom is. So I mark my center at the bottom, I mark my center at the top, and then I make sure I mark top and bottom. That's my mark for top, and there's nothing at the bottom. And you'll see I have two marks on here. It's because I use this template for two different books. So just ignore this red at the bottom, okay? So now I have we're we're looking at we're looking here. Okay? So now I have my dead center marks. So now I have to do the other side. So to get the other side, you're going to fold it in half again, just like this. 
okay? Now, I take, and usually I just eyeball it. It's honestly, that's that's what I do. I've made so many books, I just eyeball it. But um, what you can do for beginners is you fold it in thirds, okay? You just fold your paper in thirds. So you're going to fold it this way. You're going to fold it this way. Then that's going to give you thirds. Then when you unfold it, you have your thirds. One, two, three. Okay? So you fold it here. Like this. And then you draw a line down. And then you do the same thing on this side. Now what I do is then I take my ruler and I draw a line straight down top to bottom. And then I take my awl or pokey tool, what, whatever you want to call it, and I poke the holes through and I draw a circle around them. That tells me and shows me where those holes are. Okay, at the bottom, I don't draw a circle. I just mark it with whatever color I'm using. And for this particular book, I was using green. Green is so I knew where it was. Okay. And if that's not making sense, please feel free to leave me a comment and ask me your question. So then I take my template and I lay it in my book. Okay, let me make sure I've got it in my spine where it's supposed to be. Oops, nope, it's not. Get over there. I'll quit wiggling. Okay. Okay. And then you take your awl, your pokey tool, and what I do, this is just the way I do it, is I take my tool and I poke through my spine to give me my beginning holes through the back of my book. And I don't know if you can see those. Like right there's a good one right here. And that gives me my beginning holes so that I know where they are for my needle. And these are my needles. And then I just choose the needle I want, but right there are my needles, okay? That's just my beginning holes. That shows me where they are. On the inside, here they are. Okay, that just that just shows me because I don't use my pens on my fabrics because they kind of bleed out and and I don't want that. Okay, so on on my signatures, I take my same my same template and you're only going to use the center hole. That's all you're going to use. And let me put. Let me get all my papers together here. And you're going to go tap, 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 because you want everything down. You want everything as far down into the, into the spine as you can get it. And you put a, put a paper clip on it. And, okay, get off of there. And you put a paper clip on this one. And then you stack them up in the order that you want them to go in. Like that. Okay, that's the order I want them to go in. And then you lay your template down. And you want it to be straight. So I use the grid lines on my mat. And we're at a different table today, so I can do that. And again, I'm going to try really hard not to get my head in here. And with a pencil, just a regular pencil, okay? Um, and unless your paper's black that your templates are made out of, a regular pencil will do. So make sure all your, make sure they're all together. Make sure this is lined up. And you're probably going to see my head. It's okay. Yeah, you'll see my gray hair. Okay, you're going to line it up. And you're going to take your pencil and you're going to drag it up all three of them like that, okay? You're going to go just like that. 
So they all have a line on them, just like that. See my lines? That's where you're gonna punch your holes, okay? These, these two already have their holes punched. Okay, now I'm gonna punch the hole in this one. Let me put that pencil in there. And I'm gonna show you how I do that with my crocodile Big Bite. Okay, so what I do is I find the center and I make sure everything is down as far as it'll go into the middle. I put, I put one at the bottom. You can use, um, you can use anything. You can use, um, you, you don't want anything in the middle, okay? I use these big paper clips to help hold things together. And then you flip it over and you find your dots, okay? Because you can't see them on the inside. So you have to flip it over so you can see your dots. Now, on your Crocodile Big Bite, you have two settings. You have 3 sixteenths and you have 1 eighth. Okay, you want the 1 eighth setting, 1 eighth for your signatures. Okay, so you slide your signatures in and let me show you how it comes down. It comes down like that. See, see where it's coming down? That's where it's going to punch. So you line it up where it's punching down. And you punch. And then you line it up and you punch. And then you flip it around. Now, if these are small signatures, like five by sevens or something like that, you don't have to flip it around. You can leave it. You can leave it right where it is. Okay, come on. Okay, my holes are punched. Okay, and there are my holes. Now, if you're doing a small, um, you know, if you're doing a small book, and you don't have to use a crocodile big bite. You don't have to use this. You can use your awl and just poke your awl through. I've done many a book that way. Um, but I have very weak hands in my old age, so uh, I got one of those, and that has helped me. Oh, hold on a minute. I have to do my book also. So I'm going to do this the exact same way. I'm going to find my holes. Let's see. Let me find them here. And the first one I do is the top center. And again, I'm on the 1 8 inch setting. And because it's cardboard, because it's cardboard, it's, you know, it's just a box. Um, it, it punches fairly easy. And because I pre-punched them with my awl, okay, where is it? It um they do they do really well and I'm hoping I didn't do this upside down one two three let's turn this around all right number three where are you Where are you? There you are. When I'm doing actual books this way, 
this saves a lot of uh, torment on my hands. There we go. There we go. Okay, now my holes are punched in my books. And as you can see, this one's off a little bit. But that's okay. I'm not concerned about it. And so is this one. That's all right. So let's get all of our little little munchies off of there from now let's move this off to the side because it takes up a lot of space all right so on the inside you're going to have your fabric is going to be all right so let's cut these little threads that it creates okay now let's sew in our signatures now i start from the back um, other creatives start from the middle. Um, I just watched a video of a creative who starts from the front. So you, you do whatever is easiest for you. Your thread needs to be three times the height of your book. So you're going to take whatever you're sewing your signatures in and go one, two, three. Okay. If your plan is to add charms at the bottom or a lot of charms hanging off the top, then you need to make it longer. Your choice of needles. As you can see, I have a variety of needles here. My favorite is this one, but it's very fat. It's a very fat needle. It's called a cruel work needle, but it's blunt, but it will not go through the holes that I just punched. So back in my test tube, this one, this one is perfect, but it is very sharp, but it's perfect. Now, some of the others, this one works really well too, but it's really short. So I might try it, but it is blunt. So I'm going to have to maybe look for, um, and if you have any of these little test tubes laying around, they're perfect for keeping your needles uh, safe and not getting lost. Um, and I highly recommend, if you don't have, creating a book binding kit, um, you know, just a little box to keep all your book binding supplies in. Um, that way you're not losing them. Okay, now let's sew in our signatures here. So to do that, you wanna go to the middle. You're gonna go to the middle you're going to put your needle through the center hole and pull it through. Now remember, we're doing the back signature, okay? So I'm going to go to the back hole in the center, and I'm going to pull it through. Oh yeah, this one will work just fine. Okay, now I need to leave a tail. And then... I'm going to come in the bottom. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, you silly papers. There we go. And I'm going to bring it in. And then I'm going to go all the way to the top. And I'm going to go out the top hole. Oh, I'm up too high. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in the middle. Now, when you go back into your middle hole, try really hard not, not to split this thread that you left, okay? Now, you want one thread on either side of this. Okay, my threads aren't even. So what I need to do is I need to make them even. Okay, let's make them even. Now we're going to tug. Now we want this snug. Can you hear that? Like a guitar string. But we don't want them so tight that it tears the paper. So let me make sure here that I got it how I want it. Okay. And then you're going to tie it in a double knot. That's left over right. 
right over left. And then I usually tie it in a bow. And I did not scoot that. And this is why I do it that way. Okay. I didn't center my paper before I tied it off. I scooted it down. Okay. So, you need to center your paper, and I failed to do that on this one. All right, so let's center our paper. Let me get this knot out here, this bottom part of the knot. All right, let's take this out. All right, so before we pull it tight, you've got to scoot it up. There you go. Now we're going to tie our knot. When I tied my knot, I pulled it too tight, and it pulled it out of the book. There we go. That's better. I had it pulled too tight at the bottom, at the bottom area. There. And then you fold it over. You take your, take this. And you squish it down. Okay. Then you take your next one. Okay, I don't need that. And you can do the same thing to this one. Now, by not pulling your, um, oops, I got two of them here. By not tying your knot, your knot so very tight, you can untie them if needed. If you make a mistake like I just did and correct them, um, but you need to do it. Okay, so we're going to put it in the middle. This time it's the middle signature. So we're going to put it in the middle. So if I see any issues with my placement, I can come back and correct them. Um, and I've had to do that before. I've had to come in and untie signatures and take them out um, and fix them. Um, I've actually gone in and added signatures to book to books, doing it the same way as, as I'm doing right now. I've added signatures to books. Uh, and you do it the exact same way as what we're doing right now. Okay, so once you get it in the top hole, now it's time to, for placement. Now we go to the bottom. Where's my bottom hole? Right there. Um, where you get it in and you look at it and you go, Oh, I tied it in upside down. Oh my gosh. Yep, that, that's when you got to read, take it out and do it again. I've done that before, too. I actually tied all three of them in upside down one time. And I had to go back in and fix them. Okay, so let's get this in there. Okay. All right, let's get this straightened here. Okay, remember, you don't want to pull it so tight that you knock your signatures all the way down to the bottom. You want them to be even. Okay, that can come off. But you want them snug. You don't want them to get loose. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to do the same thing to this one. Okay, and the final one. This is my favorite part of a journal, is creating it. Getting it together, sewing in the signatures. Okay. Yeah, and I purposely 
picked something on the front to make sure I didn't put anything in upside down. Okay, let's see here. I tried to do that because I've, you know, I've done that before and um and it just aggravates the tar out of me that I have to take them out. With as many as I've made, you'd think I would know to check, but sometimes flopping them around, I forget to check and Okay, now let's put it back in the middle. There we go. All right, let's pull this one in. Oh yeah, this is really this one's really floppy. Oops, wrong way. Okay. Alrighty, signatures are in our book. We can take those off. Let's squish them down. See, and it looks like we could actually add another one, doesn't it? But I really don't want to add another one right now because I'm thinking she's going to get fat. All right, let's put our needles away so we don't end up with them on the floor and losing them, so we'll put that away. All right, so our signatures are in our book, our cover's made. Now that's what the outside looks like. Right there, everything's lined up. So now what we'll need to be doing is making a decision of what we're gonna do um, to put around here. And, there, and I just like to put something around it because it um, it decorates it a little bit. That's all. I just like to decorate it a little bit. Um, it adds a little bit of color. It adds a little bit of, um, you know, to the front. It just adds a little bit of something to the front. And I haven't decided if I'm going to put anything else on the front of it because I really like this here. Um, I might, but, you know, I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay. So, that's all for today. Um, our next one, we're going to start decorating this little cutie pie. And uh, we're going to add, we're going to add some pockets on the inside. And we're going to start decorating our pages. Um, and that's going to be fun because I have some really, really fun um, things to do. And I'm just going to do a quick flip through here for you of all the, um, the pages right now are not decorated. As you can see, they're they're just plain pages. They're just, you know, just plain pages. Now, there are some fold-outs in them. So, um, we're going to be doing a lot of pockets. We're going to be doing um, some side tucks. We're going to be making some tags. Um, I have a really fun spinner activity that I want to do with you guys to teach you guys this, I think this is the um, going to be a really fun journal to create. This one has a, a big fold out here. Oops, I think I cut off some glued area that we need to cut the glue back down. Oh, yep, we need to glue that back down. And um, we're going to be making some corner tucks. So there's going to be a lot a lot of creating going on in this little journal. And um, I'm so glad that you guys joined me today for sewing in our signatures. And um, I want to thank all of my, oh, you know what? That needs done too. So let's just do it while we're here. Um, I want to thank all of my, my subscribers. Um, you guys just don't know how exciting it is to look under my subscriber list and see um, and see how my list is growing. Oh my gracious, you guys! We have met. We have met the challenge that my um, my mentor gave us, and that oh my gosh, she was so excited when I told her. She was so excited. Um, so we're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going and show her we can we can do more. 
So don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos. And uh, we're just going to keep growing and growing. And um, we're going to be a big channel here on YouTube. And we're going to just see what all we can do and all kinds of mischief that we can get into. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can even share videos here on the um, from the Ladybug Journal. And you know what? I think we might have to add some lace to that. Yeah, I think we're going to. Um, here at the Ladybug Journal. So um, don't forget to do that and let your friends know about us. Um, it's going to be fun and we're going to have a lot of fun decorating this little journal. And um, there's some surprises coming up here at the end of the month for you guys. Uh, because you have helped me grow and you have helped me get where I am today. And um, I just would not be able to have done it without you. So um, I have a big surprise for you guys at the end of the month. So don't forget, like and subscribe um, to the videos that, you, that you're seeing. And you can share them with your friends. And um, we'll just keep growing. And uh, we'll come back the next time and we'll start decorating this little cutie and um, we'll see what all we can do for there and uh, hopefully hopefully we'll get some we'll get some fun things done and uh, you guys will have a good time with me so until I see you again in our next video um, ta-ta for now